Friday's vlog. If you have noticed the location I am shooting my videos has now changed. I recently just painted my bed frame. It's now a nice white. So I couldn't really shoot over there so now you have a back view of my room. So today's vlog I just wanted to talk about something a little bit personal. Vlogs are good for that. I just broke up with my boyfriend. Well, on a Friday, actually, so it's not that recent. Um, we were dating for pretty much four years, and for someone in my age group, like, you know, I'm 19, turning 20 very soon, um, that's a very long time. None of my friends have been together with someone that long. And I just kind of wanted to say, well, how do you go about breaking up with someone after so long. And I was actually going through my phone and I was thinking, well, what can I say for this vlog? It's Friday, you know, I have a week or so off of school. And there's actually a wiki how for breaking up with your boyfriend. And I'll talk a little bit about it as I go along. I don't really know how it's going to play out. But anyway, so... Wiki has, gosh, I think seven steps for breaking up with someone. This is right from the article, like you can Google it, it's there. The first thing you have to do, according to Wiki, is avoid making rash decisions. If you're in the heat of a moment of an argument, you don't want to break up with your boyfriend, you'll probably regret that two days down the road and, you know, beg for your relationship back. That can be good or bad depending how tolerable your significant other is. The second step would be clarify why you want to break up. If your boyfriend, like you know, if you're two different personalities, say your girlfriend, for example, is a party goer, but you're a person who wants to stay home and play video games. Those two personalities clash, and I actually seen my ex's friend go through the exact same thing. That didn't work out for too long. So, you know, clarify why you want to break up. Could be personality, could be something they constantly do. Maybe they don't give you enough, enough t attention. Like, you know, you just make sure your significant other knows why. For the third reason, or third advice thing, I don't know what to call it. Compose a list of positives and negatives. Now, I don't know about you, but when you're in a shitty relationship, you can count off your hands what negatives and positives are. In my relationship, the negatives far outweigh the positives. And I'm not going to go into detail for that. I'm not that kind of person that wants to talk shit about my ex on camera. I'm not like that. But anyway, so, I mean, you can always talk to them about, you know, the list or whatever. But that's up to you. And decide if change is possible. If you were like me, and you try to change your significant other, not change, but tell them what you don't like, and they don't do anything for it, about it, for like three years, the change is not possible. You have to drop that like a hot potato. It's like when someone has a potato in tin foil ooh, in an oven and they flick it at you. You're not going to hold it in your hand and wait to see how long you can hold on to it. You are going to drop it and that's exactly what you should do. If your significant other isn't treating you right, drop it. It's not worth it. It's very painful. Uh, so yeah. Number five, communicate your frustrations. You don't have to call them up or your girlfriend up, I don't care, and yell at them for everything they've done wrong. No, you can sit them down and talk to them about it. Either way, you can always talk about it and hope they can change. Number six, establish a reasonable, reasonable timetable for change. I don't know what they're talking about about that, but like, if you want change, you're going to want it now. Sure, you can take baby steps, but you're not going to wait a whole year for someone to change. I mean, you could always talk to them. Communicating is a big issue in a lot of relationships. 
Confide in a trusted person, your best friend, your cat, your dog, your fish, a lamp. If someone that you love outside of that relationship is there, then you can talk to them about that and get their advice and opinion about breaking up. Render your final decision. If your relationship is dead, it's dead. And I mean, some people, like, you know, they break up for a couple of years and then they get back together. That's perfectly fine, but you have to make your intentions very clear. I'm no relationship expert at all, but I certainly know what works sometimes. <laughs> I can only go from my personal experience and, you know, that might help you guys. Who knows? So, anyway, um, I don't really know what else to talk about besides that, but like I said, I broke up with him on Friday, and like, no one can tell you when the right time is to go back to dating, like, no one can say, oh, well, you shouldn't date again for another couple of months. No, you date when you feel you're ready to, when you're not crying over your significant other in your bed alone with two tubs of ice cream. You do dates when you feel you're ready. And don't let your significant other give you grief for that, too. Like, that just totally brings down everything you've worked up. And, like, I don't know. Just sometimes breakups are difficult. And sometimes things can't stay mutual. Some people bitch and fight all the time. You know, that stuff happens. But you have to make the right decision for yourself. You have to make yourself happy. Um, but like, yeah, like I said, my relationship wasn't happy. I was very much mistreated for the majority of my relationship, so I ended it. And now I'm moving on to bigger and better things. Um, like, I know some telltale signs of to break up with someone's when, like, you know, they never talk to you, never want to go on dates and stuff, but girl, when your boyfriend only wants to hang out with his friends and no one else but his friend, drop him. <sighs> oh well, what can you do? Oh, another thing, um, I talked about this in the Dragonline video, my cat Ginger is perfectly fine. Um, the hair on his face started to grow back, so he's doing a lot better, which is great, which, you know, I, I'm happy that he's still alive, so that's good. That's, I think the only other thing I really had to talk about, I don't have these things planned out. When I just go for a vlog, so just talk about things and yeah. Oh well. Anyway guys, that's it for this vlog. I will see you next week, hopefully. As always guys, like, comment, sub, and stay shiny. Bye everyone.